Hey, dude, you want to get that? <gasps> Jesus, just when I dropped off to sleep. Couldn't you get it yourself? Hi there. I've come about the room for rent. I'm Tiger Woods. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, dude! You're my favorite sportsman of all time! No one will ever match your incredible ball control! <laughs> yeah, plus you're also not too bad at golf. Thank you, but right now I'm taking time out for reflection. <laughs> my days of sleeping with supermodels are behind me. I've come here to get far away from any kind of temptation. Hmm? Is Tiger home? Hi there! Is this where Tiger's living? I need him to inseminate me. Tiger Woods? I am not programmed to feel love, but I am programmed to have sex with Tiger Woods. Mom! Have you come to visit me? Um, not exactly, sweetie honey. I just wanted to meet Tiger. Looks like Tiger is making progress. He hasn't slept with anyone in over 45 minutes. Oh! Whoa. Can't he keep his balls to himself? <laughs> <laughs> Hole in one. Sorry. Tiger, why can't you practice someplace else? The whole apartment is full of holes. Mmm, so many holes. Jesus, he's even worse than I thought. Listen, I think we're gonna have to get rid of him. Leave it to me. Tiger, I bet you five dollars you can't get the ball out of the bunker. <laughs> what, for five measly dollars? There are two ladies. Why not? I'm completely cured. What the? What is this thing? It's enormous. Oh, wow. Baby. You like that, huh? Oh. 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 Look at that. I think the animal's fallen in love with me. <laughs> it's the first time anyone's ever paid me to stand perfectly still. Hey, you two aren't sexual perverts, are you? Our buddy should be along any second. We just want to give him a little surprise. Uh, hey, guys, I got the pizzas. What in the name of all that's holy hot mama? I'd love to get to know you, but I can't. I'm still in treatment. Oh, yes, I can. Uh, Sweetie Pie, th this isn't what it looks like. G give me a chance. I, I can explain. Uh, I'm serious. Um, this is this is uh, my sister. Your sister? Yeah, my sister. Uh, oh, 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 oh. My half sister. Oh, 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 no, no, please. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, you double. Human beings refer to these miniature dwellings as cars. This is where they spend up to three quarters of their lives. Observe how a human's personality changes when it enters a car. Pick up the pace, you dumbass! What the hell are you waiting for? When you got a freaking move on, brain dead motherfucker? I'm gonna rip out your steering wheel, stick it up to your butt, and give you a freaking driving lesson! <laughs> but, but wait, but what am I doing? I just totally flipped out. Please forgive me, Father. There you have it. Once he steps out of the car, the average human reverts to his peaceful, mild-mannered behavior. Notice how the male of the species worships his vehicle. This baby's got mag alloy rims, a V-engine, custom metallic bodywork, air conditioning, fully reclinable upholstered seats, four wheels, four doors, a steering wheel. Sometimes, it would appear that the male would rather copulate with his car than with a willing female. Why don't you drive me somewhere quiet so we can get freaky in the back seat? Are you crazy? Do you realize what that would do to the leather? Forget it. And here we see one of the paradoxes that can be observed in humans when they're inside their beloved automobiles. As I'm sure you remember, when the male is at the wheel, speed is always of the essence. Pick up the pace, you dumbass! What the hell are you waiting for? When you get a freaking move on, brain dead mother now, for contrast, let's listen in on the behavior of a female in a comparable situation. No, not so fast! Not so fast! Slow down! Slow down! Jesus, not so... Are you finished? Uh, uh I guess. Want a cigarette? Exhilarating, isn't it? Here, once again, we observe that male and female human beings are fundamentally incompatible. Hey, who's in the house? DJ Poquito! Oh, yeah. Today in the planet, dancing with DJ Poquito, I want to talk to you about the connection between music Dancing and hard drugs. No, 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 no to drugs. No, 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 no. People, it's not true that most of the people who go to techno clubs to dance for 12 hours nonstop are on drugs. No, in fact, the figure is 1%. 2%? 10%? 5%? Electricity to the max from the stacks. To the max, to the max, to the max, to the max, to the max with Poquito. DJ Poquito! I personally have millions of close friends who can enjoy pumping techno house 
without feeling the need to take anything. For example, um, for example, for example, give me a sec. For example, for example. 15 hours later. For example, my grandma. My grandma is crazy about dance music. Look out as she goes, look out as she goes, look out as she goes. Dance friend, funky. And she only takes pills prescribed by her physician. And we DJs never do drugs. If I have ever taken drugs, may the earth open up and spew out a pink kangaroo. Hey, what the crap? It's okay. That kangaroo is not pink. Okay, I'm in a pink kangaroo that breaks both my legs with a crowbar made of iron. <laughs> you see that? There's no crowbar, eh? No bar. Oh crap. Who's in the house? I'm ready to give my verdict. Bring on the Wheel of Fortune! And the verdict is... <laughs> oh, he's guilty! Oh, give it another spin! You see? And they complain the justice system doesn't give people a second chance. <laughs>